Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's Headmasters blog. It's Friday the 8th of October. Yesterday afternoon, uh, Mrs. Witzbursa and I were uh, privileged to be a part of the Independent School of the Year award ceremony, albeit online, and uh, immensely proud we were too, as Kingswood House was keeping some very illustrious company. And although we didn't ultimately win the prize, um, it was absolutely fantastic to be involved in such a worthwhile process and showcase all of the attributes of Kingswood House and celebrating student experience. Um, I'm immensely pleased and proud that we're able to, to, to showcase the ISY finalist logo of 2021, uh, a really auspicious accreditation of everything that underpins the Kingswood House way ethos and values. Um, so well done to all of our other finalists. Congratulations to the winners this year, and uh, we hope to be involved next year too. Well done to Form 8L and Mr Lordy who put on a really informative assembly on Wednesday morning uh, and they were introducing the topic for today which is Hello Yellow and uh, in support of mental health for young people and young minds and uh, the sea at the moment outside in the playground is awash with lots of yellow um, brightening up what is otherwise a very misly day. Uh, we had our first ever girls netball fixture over at Belmont on Wednesday afternoon and our girls team conducted themselves with fantastic efforts, uh, teamwork, camaraderie. Although they were on the wrong end of the scoreline, they displayed all of those very important and worthwhile qualities and had a lot of fun to boot. So a really great moment for us to get our first netball fixture done. Thank you to Belmont for hosting us. Uh, we look forward to reciprocating in the not too distant future. We also had uh, an, an inspection earlier this week with uh, Crested, who are uh, an organisation, a kite mark organisation for SEN, and uh, they went away at the end of the day incredibly impressed with the way that we integrate um, support academically, pastorally, through the school for all of our girls and boys. Thank you to Miss Wilson, Mrs Ibbotson in particular. Um, and the staff who are involved in those interviews and those observations. Um, but again, a really wonderful recognition of Kingswood House and what we do here to make sure that we're such an inclusive and holistic community. Last night, um, it was fantastic to be involved in the first Kingswood House Association live events that I can remember for probably 18 months. Uh, we had a race night in the Langlands Hall. It was well supported by parents and indeed by, by staff, and a lot of fun was had. Thank you so much to uh, Lisa Reese, our chair, to Angela Glenn in particular, and all of those other mums and dads who gave up their time, helped out, and of course to those who attended. We do look forward to fireworks after half term. If you haven't got your tickets, they're selling out. Please do make sure that you get your tickets across the line with your family and your friends uh, before the half term break. If your son or daughter comes home this afternoon and says um, that they were hiding under a desk and the teacher pulled the blinds down and there was lots of horns uh, blaring out, uh, please don't be uh, unduly alarmed. This is because we held our first lockdown practice um, in case of uh, an intruder on the site, uh, obviously related to terrorism. We haven't been able to hold one of these since pre-COVID and we felt that it was very important for us just to refresh our procedures and make sure that everything was working smoothly. So uh, all of the form teachers would have explained what was happening to the girls and boys. So if you hear stories about that coming home, please, uh, as I say, don't be alarmed. It's, it's all part of our procedures and our planning and I think uh, a very sensible uh, and worthwhile use of our time. Now, on to medicine and dispatches for this week. Well done to Abdurrahman in reception for being well-mannered and polite, especially on the outing to Wisley Gardens reports, Mr Clerk. Well done to all of reception for their work in French from Madame Swift. They have already learned some numbers and some colours, which is great. Well done to Katie uh, for all of her work in lessons, says Mrs Lambert. And uh, Katie, well done also to you for playing so well in, in Harvest Festival. Uh, well done to Toby Hasselton for his work in mathematics from Miss Smith. And to all of the uh, boys and girls in years two, three and four for creating fantastic parabolic designs. A really tricky challenge, says Miss Smith. Uh, Josh Graham, thank you to you for helping uh, clear up uh, after science class, says Miss Forbes. Uh, Dexter Braithwaite, really good singing from uh, Miss Foster in class. To Henry Shern and Eddie Bishop for being kind and generous, reports Mrs Lindley, that's good to hear. Uh, Bertie Lewis, really good manners from you, holding the door open for uh, Madame Swift to pass through this week. Well done, Bertie. 
So Aurelia, who has settled in really well and uh, displays a really lovely, kind, friendly personality, says Madame Swift. Well done to you, Aurelia. Um, and Mrs Hornstead is very pleased with all of success and the quality of their homework for history at the moment is exemplary. Well done to Sam Ferreira Lay for being a very good uh, friend to peers last week, helping one or two who are having a, a bad day. It showed real maturity, reports Miss Foster. Will Baker making an excellent effort in science with his electromagnets. George Eddington, uh, great book work in science. Harry Hewitt, keeping up beating class. And Lauti Jasnikowski, really good work and achievement in mathematics, says Mr Barrett. Rex Treadwell, working very hard on his division reports, Mrs Lindley. Oscar Elam, well done uh, for your increased work rate in science. And Howard Kim also, says Mr Barrett. Howard, another nomination for you, uh, being willing to read out loud to the class during enrichment, says Miss Black. And Sebastian, also well done to you, Sebastian Versace, a really good contribution in PSHE. Miss Black is very pleased to hear about your understanding of what it means to be a part of a team. Uh, well done to Ozan in 7P, who has got three nominations this week. Firstly, from Miss Patel for stepping up to be prep monitor. Secondly, for his work in science. And thirdly, for getting a commendation in French. So, Ozan, well done. Fantastic effort from you. Tristan Bush has got a, a nomination for writing a really good Class 7P rap, which I have heard. Thank you for that, Tristan. Uh, Joshua Samampalai, well done to you for really good work in science. And Ethan Bowl for maths. And Mrs Hornstetter, once again, would like to commend all of 7P for their collective quality of prep. Uh, into 8F. Eddie Collins, Dylan Bishop, really working hard on the drama production. Uh, Christian Idris, really good input on PSHE. And Yusuf Mohammed for making a great start with his maths. And I've also just seen Yusuf's history book. And I have to say, it is exemplar. Well done, Yusuf. Ayan, doing really well uh, in and out of class, making an excellent effort, says Mr Lordy. Zachary Howes, hard graft in maths from Mr Barrett. Avanish going over and above with this French homework. I like to hear that, Avanish. Thank you, Madame Taylor, for that nomination. James McDowell, quiet in class but hard working, pushing himself. Like to hear that too. Well done, Mrs. Uh, Lindley, for nominating James. KB Wood and Elliot Nicolau being well organised with all of their equipment, says Madame Taylor. And John Barnes, Johnny Barnes, well done for your work in mass, says Mr. Barrett. Into seniors, Tobias Van Hennigan has been working hard. Reports Mrs. Bray, Lucas Cressy being very kind, sharing his umbrella uh, with Miss Patel when it was raining during lunch duty. That's really kind of you, Lucas. Uh, Max Horsting, well done to you uh, for your contribution and questioning on last week's fractional indices, reports Mr. Sudeo. Fazan Jawed, really good standards, working hard. Dan Pepper showing effort in lessons, reports Mr. Hendry. James Carr for completing his outstanding history online. Uh, from Mrs Horn's debtor and Matt Mullins and Henry Sweetman, really good collaborative work in maths. Tommy Collins um, is doing 30 minutes of running each morning before school. Um, Folu Ieni working hard and uh, spending a lot of time with some of the upper prep girls at lunchtime and having a lovely chat with them. Theo Venslar-Pelli, two nominations for you. First of all, contributing very well in the pupil briefing about National Dyslexia Awareness Week um, and also for your maths. Archie Epron, a very insightful contribution to PSHE focused on racism in October's Black History Month. Reports Mrs Weston, uh, Chris Hawksley for showing a very constructive approach uh, in helping to resolve an issue that had uh, affected him. So well done to you, Chris. And Ted Reed, again, someone who's going above and beyond to try and develop his learning, reports Mrs Bray. Into Year 11, Max Mitchell Nesbitt um, worked really well with Year 4, showing him uh, mentorship has, uh, about how to play the guitar. Um, really good to uh, share his instrument and his knowledge with them, says Miss Foster. Um, Mr Bailey with some DT nominations. Ali Dawson, Sam Squire, Max Mitchell Nesbitt, Cameron Allenby at the start of their seven-month practical assignment. Um, Ed Bolton has had to work from home recently, but he has worked very enthusiastically, uh, especially in science. And Jessica, well done to you, always asking intelligent questions. Um, and equally helped to tidy up um, and help Mrs Weston with that. That was really good to hear at the end of the lesson. And into 11W, Mrs Ray is very pleased with Ryan Lunderman showing independence and in endeavour in art. Uh, Hugo Davis for showing good practical work in science. And Ryan, again, uh, a real 
mention, and we want you, says Mrs Lindley, to remember to be positive um, about yourself, and respect, of course, starts with yourself. So keep going, Ryan. Mrs Lindley's very uh, impressed with your grit and determination, and maybe you need to be a bit kinder to yourself. Uh, Mr Sitdeo, finally, would like to say thanks and well done to all of the seniors who have coped well with the hybrid learning if you've been at home all school over the last week. Great versatility on show. Next week is, uh, amazingly, the last week before um, half term. It has absolutely flown by. We have Shackleton and Antarctic workshops to look forward to. We also have uh, Wear Red Charity Day in a week's time, which is um, in support of a racial awareness. Um, I'm going to be away at conference for one or two days. Um, it's going to be a busy week, a productive week, um, a really exciting lead-in to what's been a fantastic first half of the term. Have a super weekend, everyone.